It doesn't matter who you are. If you ride enough, then sooner or later, you're gonna have a mechanical at the side of the road. Now with luck, you'll have the relevant tools with you and you'll be able to fix it and get on your way. But sometimes, for whatever reason, you don't. And that's where human ingenuity takes over. Now necessity is the mother of invention after all. And we asked you to submit on social media your best roadside hacks. And here they are, we're gonna show you in this video. And every single hack featured will win a Topeak Ninja bottle cage, which in addition to being a bottle cage, also has a quick lock bracket at the bottom to which you can attach multi-tools or a spares pouch like this. And it even has uh, tire levers on the side as well. Now, before I show you the hacks, be sure to subscribe to GCN if you haven't already, and also click the bell icon to get notifications. Let's begin with the most common of roadside mechanical problems, the puncture. Now, ordinarily, you just replace the punctured inner tube with a new one, pump it up, and you're good to go, you're on your way. But sometimes, life isn't that simple. Sometimes, the hole that's in your tire is too big, and that means that if you were to do it in the normal way, then the inner tube would inflate and then poke out of the hole a bit like a hernia. So how do you fix this problem if it happens to you? Well, you can use a specific kind of product called a tire boot to peak make them, but what if you don't have them or if you've run out? Well, top marks to Thomas, who submitted this picture while he was bikepacking from Prague to Copenhagen with his girlfriend. Now, because they were bikepacking such a long distance, they needed a solution that wasn't just gonna get them home, it was actually gonna survive the rest of the trip. So what they did was seal the massive gas shut with some duct tape on the inside and then actually stitched the hole in the tire like a sort of wound, I guess, but it managed to hold and get them all the way there and beyond. Nice work. And in a similar vein to that, we also have Terry here, who was able to repair a massive hole in his tire using a gel wrapper to stop the inner tube poking through. Good work, that's a classic hack. And we also have this rather expensive solution submitted by Ollie, not me, another one, who used his cafe money, a five pound note, to plug the hole. While this clearly works, we would pretty much suggest using anything else for this job. Good work. Now, there are lots of solutions that you can use to this problem, but personally, I carry a few old cut-up sections of tyre that uh, I have in my saddlebag, like that, to plug the hole. Much cheaper than a five-pound note. After you've patched your tyre, you then, of course, pump it up, and you've got two options. You can either use a pump or a mini pump or a CO2 inflator. Personally, I like to carry both because, well, a CO2 inflator is really quick, but a mini pump never runs out. Now, when you use a CO2 cartridge, they can get very cold and actually give you a freezer burn. So to give some insulation, you can get a dedicated sleeve like this, or you can do this ingenious hack. This simple idea was submitted by Beer Circles and involves taking an old bit of inner tube, maybe the one that even punctured, cutting a section off it, and then simply pulling that over the CO2 cartridge to give you that insulation. Great idea. But sometimes the unexpected can still happen, even when everything seems to be going to plan. So we got this submission from Jack in Northamptonshire, which he also submitted to the GCN show for Hack or Bodge. You may have seen it there. He was pumping up uh, his tire and found that every time he tried to remove his pump upon inflating the tire, it took the valve core with it and then deflated the tire straight away. So he realized that the only way the tire was gonna stay inflated was if he left his mini pump on the valve. But that, of course, would have made the bike not possible to ride if the you know, pump was spinning around in the wheel. So he had to secure the pump to the spokes. And he was able to do that with a poo bag that he found in a bush. Yeah. Well, it worked, so fair play. I mean, you could have used potentially zip ties or a bit of cable or whatever to tie that on there, but it worked and it got him home. I mean, I commend Jack's ingenuity here, but the only mistake he really made was not using a Topeak mini pump. <laughs> 
Now for something completely different and one that you may also remember from the GCN show. It's also a problem that I don't think anyone ever carries spares for in their saddlebag. Steve was cycling with his mate Jeff near Ocean Springs, Mississippi in the US of A when Jeff's sole became detached from his shoe. What on earth do you do in such a situation? Well, Jeff and Steve used their live strong wristbands to sufficiently secure the sole to get Jeff home 30 miles. Brilliant. Drive trains can and do go wrong sometimes and a common problem that you have is a chain brake. If your chain snaps, then don't worry, if you've got a good multi-tool with a chain breaker on it, you can simply take out the damaged links and pin it back together uh, to get you home. It'll be weaker and it'll be shorter and it'll need replacing, but it can get you home. Also, if your rear mech snaps off, Sai's done it in a video before where he's shown you how you can turn your bike into sort of a pseudo single speed. And again, this can help get you home. But there are other problems that can happen too. Now check out this hack from GCN viewer Sophie. She was out riding in North Belgium with her uncle and the spring in his rear derailleur snapped. Now the spring is essential for maintaining chain tension and bringing the rear derailleur back like that. Now without the necessary tools or a replacement spring to fix it, she had an ingenious idea. She used a hairband which she then tightened round it to replace the spring and maintain the tension in the chain and it got them home across the hills of northern Belgium. Great. Next one we have a classic hack from Ecto by Koki which again is something that solves a problem for which you would never normally carry spares or replacements in your saddlebag while on a ride. What happened was they lost a cleat bolt washer. What would you do? Well ingenious. They got that common piece of roadside trash or rubbish, uh, if you're from England, the discarded ring pull and managed to use that instead of a washer. Very clever. And finally, I've got a hack of my own and one that I've featured on GCN Tech before. So if you're on a really wet ride, sometimes all the lube on your drivetrain can get washed off, resulting on metal on metal. And it sounds like, well, cutlery in a washing machine. Ugh. Anyway, the solution is to put more lube on your drivetrain, but you don't want to take a full bottle of lube with you on your ride, that's just impractical. So instead, get one of these small soy sauce bottles that you get free with packs of sushi and decant some of your lube in there, and then you've got your emergency lube in a nice little bottle and you can store it in your saddlebag. Now, well done to everyone whose hack was featured. Remember, you've all won a Toppy Ninja bottle cage. So get in contact, and we'll get them sent out to you. Ollie? Yeah? You don't win one. Oh. Well, anyway, well, well done to everyone else. And uh, yeah, hope you found this video and the hacks in it useful. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and keep sending your roadside hacks in. We love seeing them and we'll probably feature them in another video in the future. If you'd like to see more roadside hacks and how to fix a broken cable at the side of the road in order to get you home, you can click down here. I'm gonna go for a ride now. Bye.